everybody welcome to our channel nursing virus in this video i am focused on the subject of mental health nursing mcqs the topic of psychopharmacology or psychotropic drugs this topic were highly focused on the various examinations compulsory they may asked two or three questions from this topic area i hope this video class will help you to gain knowledge regarding this topic psychotropic drugs cut into the two parts i have 50 questions for this area and as well check the previous videos for other nursing subject mcqs do subscribe on nursing virus channel if you not yet done and don't forget to click the bell icon and like button so you don't miss any videos let's move on to the discussion consider this is not the class we are going to play a game through this you can see your level of knowledge on the topic of psychopharmacology here i made some rules for playing this game in this class total 25 mcqs i have planned you will have 10 seconds to answer each question after reading the questions if you want the additional time you can pause the video and think more to provide the answers you can calculate your score by self if you have doubts on any question write it in the comments box question number 76 Neuroleptic drugs are also known as So the correct answer is antipsychotics. So the neuroleptic drugs are also known as the major tranquilizers, D2 receptor blockers and antisesophrenic drugs. 77 Antipsychotic drugs are prescribed to decrease the psychotic symptoms by so The correct answer is blocking the action of dopamine in the brain. So the antipsychotic drugs block the D2 receptors which are mainly present in the mesolimbic mesocortical system. So this is the area where mainly responsible for our emotional reactions. And another area is nigrostriatal system and tuberoinfundibular system. Two area the drug will use to act commonly. So here on the picture you can see the circulated area that is that neurotransmitter receptor sites. So in this area the dopamines will use to get blocked. 78. What is the main action expected of tricyclic antidepressant? The correct answer is blocking the receptors of non-epinephrine. On the picture you can see the normal mechanism of that non-epinephrine and serotonin which is passing from presynaptic area to the postsynaptic area so here the receptors cells and here the production of non epinephrine and serotonin will used to happen this is the normal function when you are administering the tricyclic antidepressant that non epinephrine and serotonin will be reuptake from that presynaptic area itself it will not reach to the postsynaptic area 79 selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors is so here the correct answer is fluoxetine so here the list of drugs are given that is the first one cyclopram then escitalopram then fluoxamine and fluoxetine, cetraline, and paroxetine. And 80. The disulfiram therapy is indicated in. So the correct answer is chronic alcoholic. So this drug will be always referred for the chronic alcoholic person. And especially this drug should be avoided in the intoxication period and uh, the disulfiram is not one of the cure for the alcoholism 
just will make the person to get away from the alcohol or substance 81 the action of disulfiram is so the correct answer is anti-abuse drug here we look out the mechanism of action when you administer the disulfiram there will be in two phase of action will use to takes place so the one is from that blood area and another one from the brain area so here first we'll look out the blood acetaldehyde level how it's getting increased when you're administering the disulfiram the aldehyde dehydrogenase enzyme will be produced this enzyme will make the breakdown of alcohol in the blood and will keep that alcohol substances keep remain on the blood that is the ethyl alcohol will be converted as acetaldehyde and further converted into acetate and further it will be excreted in that carb carbon dioxide and H2O. This is the normal process. But when you are administering the disulfiram, the aldehyde dehydrogenase enzyme will block the action of the converting of acetaldehyde to acetate and the excretion process. So thereby the person will use to get the certain effects of the disulfiram and the another side for the brain side that is diethyl dithiocarbamate will be secreted and further it will produce that dopamine beta hydrolase enzyme so this enzyme will increase that dopamine in that brain area 82 the patient on monoamino oxalate inhibitors should be advised not to ingest dash rich foods to prevent hypertensive crisis so here the correct answer is thiamine foods should be always avoided why main so the thiamine is an amino acid that helps to regulate the normal blood pressure level it occurs naturally in the body and it's found in the certain food items also that is the normal components when you're administering that monoamino oxalate inhibitors which will use to block the monoamines oxidate which is an enzyme that break down the excess thiamine in the body that will blocking this enzyme helps to relieve the depression if you take an monoamino oxalate inhibitors and you eat high amount of thiamine foods the thiamine can quickly reach the dangerous level so thereby the hypertensis crisis will used to happen thereby the person may need a certain emergency treatment 83 extra pyramidal symptoms or side effects of so the correct answer is antipsychotics so these drugs were more effective in treating the psychosis due to their action on that D2 receptor which is located in that mesolimbic system whilst the extra pyramidal side effects are caused by the blockage of D2 receptor which is situated in the Niagara striatal system and hyperprolactemia is caused by D2 blockage in the tubo-infundibular system. So again I given that list of EPS symptoms you can go through 84. The withdrawal symptoms do not usually occur in case of which of the following medications? So the correct one is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs which is belongs to that uh, the kind of an painkiller that is NSAIDs that aspirin and brufen and uh, catalog are examples 85 which of the following drugs used for the treatment of nocturnal enuresis so the correct answer is imipramine the tricyclic have the significant anticholinergic effects and thus have the similar properties to oxybutrin so here the dosage of that imipramine for the children's that between 6 to 8 years 
25 mg of imipramine one to two hours just before the bedtime for their older children and the adolescents the drug amount can be 50 to 75 mg 86 the drug of choice to treat bulimia nervosa is So the correct answer is antidepressant especially SSRI groups that is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors the antidepressant medication in reducing the binge eating and purging urges in the patient with bulimia nervosa especially when that imbalance were happening between that serotonin level in the body can increase the urges to binge and purge in the woman and men who have bulimia and antidepressant medication can decrease this urges by effectively balancing that level of neurotransmitters in the brain especially when they are getting balanced between serotonin level that ssri groups of drugs that fluoxetine can be much helpful for reducing this bulimia nervosa symptoms 87 yet 34 years old female has 3 months history of disturbed sleep with early morning awakening decreased appetite lethargy multiple body pain and feelings low and worthlessness and most appropriate treatment in this case will be so if you are looking all the symptoms that is belongs to the depressive episode so this area you can look out that symptoms which i given here those all symptom belongs to the depressive disorder so that antidepressant is the primary drug of choice for this depressive cases and 88 selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors belongs to which category of psychotropic drugs so the correct answer is antidepressant so here i given that 10 list of drugs belongs to the antidepressant 89 10 years old child who diagnosed with major depression the drug of choice for this child is again that fluoxetine that is a belongs to ssri group can be much helpful in case of children's so along with the flu- fluoxetine other drugs also can be recommended that is that cyclopram and sertraline can also can be recommended as the first line drugs for the childhood depression 90 which among the following drugs is suitable in case of ocd that is obsessive compulsive disorder So again the correct one is clomipramine that antidepressants are often the first medication can be prescribed for the OCD even though the person does not having any depressive symptoms that clomipramine or fluoxetine or fluoxamine or paroxetine sertraline or another antidepressant can be drug of choice depends on that person age health condition and variation of the symptoms duration the 91 which classification of drugs may be used in the children to treat anorexis so the here the correct answer is tricyclic antidepressants as we already discussed in the before question that is the correct answer so example you can go with that imipramine drug under the tca group 92 the nurse is teaching a group of patient about the mood stabilizing medication that is a lithium carbonate which of the following medication should 
she instruct the patient to avoid because of increased risk of lithium toxicity so the correct answer is diuretics why mean the therapeutic dose of thiazide diuretics result in decrease in the lithium clearance with that concomitant increase in that serum lithium level in the blood thereby the person will used to get the toxicity of the lithium component in the blood 93 the client on haloperidol has pill rolling tremors and muscle rigidity he is likely manifesting which of the following symptom correct one is pseudo parkinsonism so the pseudo parkinsonism is the side effect of antipsychotic drugs which is characterized by moss like face or pill rolling tremors and muscle rigidity the other symptoms also belongs to the ap that antipsychotic drugs that is tardive dyskinesia that is a lip smacking warm like movement of the tongue and echinacea that is a feeling of weakness and muscle fatigueness and dystonia that is a torticollis and rolling back of the eyes and 94 which one of the following drug is not a typical antipsychotic agent so here the correct answer is resperidone so that is the drug which is belongs to the atypical antipsychotics the remaining all three drugs which is belongs to the typical one that is the first generated drugs 95 a client with a schizophrenia has been started on the medication with clozapine the nurse should assess the result of which laboratory study to monitor the adverse effect of this drug So the here the correct one is double basic count that clozapine can cause that severe neutropenia which even can lead the person to go for death so compulsory we need to check or monitor the double basic count 96 antipsychotic drugs with the least incidence of extra pyramidal side effects is the correct answer is clozapine so which is belongs to that atypical antipsychotic or a second generative antipsychotic which is commonly won't produce any much side effects of eps 97 a client on antipsychotic therapy develops muscle rigidity high fever tachycardia and fluctuation on bp diaphoresis and rapid deterioration of mental status to stupor to and coma these signs and symptoms are indicative of so here the correct one is neuroleptic malignant syndrome so here all the list of problems were mainly indicating the person to having the problem of eps which is belongs to that that major group of symptom neuroleptic malignant syndrome 98 the patient under antipsychotic medicine which is exhibiting muscular spasm and involuntary movements of the neck and jaw the nurse interpret this finding as so which is that symptom belongs to that acute dystonia 99 the drug of choice in extra pyramidal symptoms is so the correct one is benzotropin 
so which is the group of drugs belongs to the anticholinergic agent were mainly prescribed or advised for all the form of eps symptoms so the remaining drugs also can be prescribed which is belongs to that benzodiazepine group of drugs but the primary drug of choice is anticholinergic 100 mr tepak who has acute psychosis and has been on haloperidol 20 mg per day for the last 2 days has an episodes of characteristic symptoms of tongue protrusion oculitic crisis stiffness and abnormal posture of the limbs and trunk without loss of consciousness for the 20 minutes before being presented to the casualty this improves within the few minutes after administration of diphenhydramine hcl the most likely diagnosis will be so this list of symptoms also belongs to the acute dystonia thanks for joining with me for the discussion i hope this video become much helpful and i provided the necessary information on the topic of psychotropic drugs for that more nasen related mcqs you can check the video playlist or the video description and thanks for your support thank you once again if the video is informative subscribe my channel and like and share the video you can write your comments too